Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I work on the marketing team at PC Name Tag. And today I'm here with Adam of RSVPFI. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me, Megan. It's good to be here. All right. So I thought today we could talk about event registration trends. We both recently put out a brand new blog covering our hot takes on what we think will be popular this year. So I thought we could just tease a few from our articles and talk about what we think will be um, hot this year and beyond. So, yeah, I mean, I think if people haven't checked out the article yet, um, part of our interest in event registration about RSVPFI, if you don't know us, is that we're a event registration software, uh, kind of an event management software company, but we've been hearing a lot of complaints about event registration this year from event planners, um, specifically around uh, really since COVID, the rise of late registrations. A lot of people suddenly coming in at the end at the last minute. Uh, so it kind of piqued our interest. And so we have been kind of diving into it on our side. And then obviously, Megan, when we talked, we realized, hey, we're both seeing the same thing. Um, so it's been kind of interesting to compare notes. And, you know, we definitely have noticed this kind of late registration rise, frustration, people solving problems at the last minute, um, you know, event planners doing what they do, which is kind of making these things work even when they don't think they're going to. Um, but it's been kind of interesting on our end, you know, as a platform that supports registration to see you know, what this looks like on the logistical side or on the back end. It's been interesting to compare our thoughts from a meeting and event supplies perspective versus a tech perspective. So we have some interesting things that we'll cover today. So I guess I can go first. Yeah. So one thing that I think will become more popular uh, this year is gamifying the event registration experience. So I think there's a lot of opportunity to kind of uh, encourage more participation, improve um, engagement, and really add more of an interactive element to not only the event experience as a whole, but to registration as well. So um, one idea that I thought would be kind of cool in this year is to have a, a, like a point system or uh, earning badges or get attendees to start earning rewards. So um, I have three different ideas that I think might be interesting this year. So the first one is to create a sort of passport where people go around to different portions of your event and collect stamps. Um, that could be digital, it can be physical. Um, that kind of goes into my next one. Uh, I think digital scavenger hunts could be very cool this year. So you can use your event app for that. You can have people scan QR codes at different uh, booths or different areas of your event, different breakout sessions. And then the last one, this actually was something that I did at a real event. So they had people stop at different vendor booths. And when you chatted with the different vendors, they gave you a secret word that you could put into your event app. So the more secret words that you collected, the more points you got. And the person with the most points got uh, a prize. So I thought that was kind of a cool way to get people chatting with one another, but also having a little bit more fun than just stopping at booths. Yeah. I mean, that sounds a lot more fun than most of the events I've been to lately. So <laughs> definitely really have fun with it. So anything goes. And I think thinking outside the box is um, good to go. Attendees sometimes like weird things. They like fun things. So just see what works. Yeah. And I guess like our ideas, you know, when I was thinking about this, it's, you know, obviously we come from the registration side. So it's always like, all right, can, you know, what could you do for people that you are used to standing in like long attendance lines where you have to sit there and check in and register. It's not considered the most fun. There's a reason why registration is not a fun sounding word. Um, but one thing, you know, that's been definitely on the rise is people using these kind of contactless check-in stations or tablets. And as soon as you have tablets there, you have a lot of opportunities for kind of gamifying this experience. So one thing that, you know, I've heard uh, some event planners be talking about in our kind of community is, you know, creating questionnaires at your check-in stations when you're coming in that you would collect information to be used later. So some of them will use this for, um, potentially like icebreaker activities, right? You can create, you know, your custom, find the person from so-and-so here because you've collected that information. Mm -hmm. And um, you can also give this information to speakers and have them personalize their, you know, speaker experiences. So, you know, if speaker knows who their audience is and we've collected information from them, then you can shout out people during this. Um, you can challenge people. You can include people in your games. You won't have to do the awkward, like raise your hand and try to pick on volunteers. You can call people up. Um, and so I think in a, you know, kind of tied into gamification, just in an interactivity 
kind of method. We, you know, I think it would be really cool. And I think it's something that people are already starting to do with kind of breaking down that wall between a speaker and getting the attendees actually involved in these presentations, making them a little bit more fun. Uh, the other thing that I think would be super cool to see more of is creating sort of a surprise moment at the registration point. Mm -hmm. Like, so do we do, you know, prizes, right? Do we offer some like kind of, you know, just even a little pop up of, you know, you just want a free dinner at XYZ, you know, the hotel that you know, the convention center that you're at. Um, do we give, you know, access to VIP events, but, you know, letting people be excited about why they're standing on the line um, because you kind of can't get rid of the lines, but you could at least make them something that's not just getting, you know, just the name tag. We can add to the fun of that with kind of, you know, making even just like the sign in experience a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. I like people, people love free stuff. That's, that's actually going to go into my next thing, but I like your point of making people feel special and surprising them with something that they weren't quite expecting because those are the things that are going to stick into their minds. So that brings me to my next idea. So I think that badge ribbons will be even more important this year. So I've been noticing a lot of people are using it more as like a networking and engagement tool and they're very cost effective. So that's a great way to um, give something you know, a little bit extra, make it fun um, and let people personalize the look of their badges. So I have a few fun ones I thought I could show you. So this one says need coffee. I love it. I definitely need to have my coffee every day. This one's kind of funny. This says fake it till you make it with a possum on it. So you can really make it, you know, funny. You can make it industry related. Um, you can have your events hashtag on it. So you can really customize it to make it um, fit your event or your theme. And then this one's funny. I'm not cranky. I keep this one at my desk because it it makes me laugh. So. <laughs> oh, it works. And, then it, and that's doing its job, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So definitely I, I really like badge ribbons because you can use them as icebreaker activities. And this is really nice for um, especially more introverted attendees. You can uh, give them that uh, visual conversation starter. They can walk up to someone, they instantly have something that they can, you know, chat with you about. So that's one thing I really like. You can stack them one on top of another. So they come with these uh, sticky adhesive ribbons and you can stick them right on top of each other. Plus, um, I think it'd be really cool to, to feature badge ribbon walls at your event. So we uh, sell those at PC Name Tag. They come with little holders that you can put a whole bunch of ribbons in and it lets people kind of pick what suits their personality. So again, it's kind of a, a good way to get people talking with one another and having fun. Yeah, I think it sounds like, you know, we, I think a lot of people think of like icebreakers or networking with kind of a little grimace. Um, and so I think it's kind of a fun way to do that, that maybe like, you know, such a necessary part of these big events. So I think that's pretty cool that, you know, PC Name Tag gives you something a little bit different. Um, you know, speaking of networking, because obviously, you know, we come in on that software side, um, but also with ribbons and kind of like the badge, right? You know, we always think of like these kind of traditional badges. When I was thinking about this, you know, we're all about QR codes at RSPFI. We do a lot of our registration via QR code. A lot of people do check mm -hmm. in QR code, you know, your invitations. And working these things together with badges is like, to me, a no brainer, right? Because not only, yeah, obviously you want to scan people in. Okay, great. But, you know, at the point where we can integrate people's social profiles or people, um, their questionnaire answers or their networking information, right? To the point where you can literally walk around and while you're comparing these pretty fun and goof, goofy badges that you're getting from PC name tag, you know, just a quick scan of somebody's QR code, you've got their contact info or you've got their sessions that they're attending or you know what vendor they're working with. And so, you know, you can really like make, I think, um, or I think the hopefully events will make these kind of networking opportunities even more seamless, right? It takes out the kind of worst part, which is like, maybe you're trying to get around the room really quickly, um, or you do want to meet a lot of these people because you, you know, just only have a limited amount of time. And so I think, you know, taking badges, we dress them up and then just having like a little QR code, you don't have to make it very ugly and you can really make all of your attendees experience with networking a lot more fun. Um, and then the other thing I was trying to think about was, you know, what do we do with it, right? Like, so we, we also want badges to be more than just like a name tag, right? You also kind of want as the event host, you know, data is everything in events right now. People want to stakeholders to know, you know, what the purpose of the event was. We want to see what we get out of it. And so I think, you know, for hosts, being able to use these badges, have this information sharing going on on your event software and being able to export that, right? You can email everybody in a certain region that attended with 
specific personalized communications. You can build out your, you know, this is the not fun part, but I think also good part. Um, but you can build out, you know, your marketing approaches based on just, you know, using badges. You don't need to ask people to do surveys or questionnaires or emails or things that we would call pain points, right? In event planning that, you know, you want your attendees to still have fun. You want them to, or get the content that they're looking for. And so I think, you know, badges plus a platform that lets you kind of use that badge, you know, beyond just like sharing it, but also to kind of use it as a data piece um, is kind of a no brainer to me. And I think, you know, PC name tag can give you a really fun way to do it. And, you know, RSP, if I can give you a way to use it. And like, to me, it's just a no brainer as a match. Definitely. I think to a lot of event planners, event registration is just a logistical necessity and it is, but I think this year there's more of an opportunity to make it into a memorable experience. And the things that we covered today are just a few ways to do that. And if you want to learn more, I'm going to link to Adam's blog and my blog in the uh, video description. So if you want to learn more from the PC name tag side, you can learn from more of a physical events perspective and in-person events perspective. And then Adam talks a little bit more about um, registration trends from a tech perspective. So definitely recommend you check that out. And thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks so much for having me. And uh, we'll definitely have to see where these things go. Who listens to our, our good ideas? <laughs> they are great ideas. Check them out. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you.